Uh, greetings, Leo, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. Hi, I hope you're all doing well, and let's see. And to my new viewers, um, thank you so much for joining in, and let's see what the vibration of the reading is going to be uh, for my Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And my name is Ingrid, and I will be doing your reading today. And thank you, Spirit Guides, for bringing clear, precise and accurate information to my Leos. And so it is. And this is you, Leo. 12, the number change could be on the horizon for Leo. Take a moment to look into this uh, shape and feel the vibration of change. 12 is an important number, the 12 seasons, the 12 months. I mean, the 12 seasons, the 12 zodiac. But the frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality. Well, yes, uh, this is a dance. Uh, this is uh, this dance with form, this dance with um, coming and going, this dance with um, beginnings and then um, movement through a cycle to an end, and that is change. <clears throat> uh, both inward and outer change. You might be changing really deeply inside yourself right now, Leo, so that you can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of new. So something might be coming to, into reality for you, a creative project, um, a birth of um, <clears throat> a child, the birth of a new business idea that is going to change your whole scope and energy field. But that's what I have for you. And let's see what the uh, tarot cards have for Leo today. And thank you. Well, this jump right out, the fool. And that's the card of change, of new beginnings, taking the leap of faith, trusting in your higher power to lead you, to guide you toward your true destiny. And what challenges this um, new beginning is uh, the wheel of fortune. Well, change is coming. It's coming fast. It's leading uh, you to make this move because you know it's destined. It's divine timing. Uh, luck is in your favor to take this leap of faith toward this new beginning of change. And it has something to do at root, at the foundation with something from the past. Maybe a feeling within your childhood that is changing <clears throat> and renewing. A friend from the past, a family member, returning home, a feeling that a giddiness of feeling like you belong in this circle of friends and family. And that renews you to take this new leap of faith, uh, to take this change. It might be that you're needing to move along uh, from past wounds, from childhood trauma, uh, because you've stood your ground for maybe nine months about this a new birth, this new creation. You've been defensive. Um, maybe that was a posture you felt like you had to take in the past based on something that had wounded you in childhood, but that you're taking this one final go at it, this one a wand that you're really holding tight to. And even if you've been wounded in this uh, battle of perseverance, you are going. Uh, you're going to keep on keeping on, and that's what maybe has led to this release, to taking <clears throat> a new leap of faith. Because I just had this vision that this wand that you've been holding on to for nine years or nine months in the past, uh, that that is what is, you see what you have your, just your little knapsack on is the same wand. So that's interesting. The thing that you were so resilient about, that you claimed as your own, now you're taking that out to be the, um, the staff of your new beginning. And you are moving um, to see now something clearly that you received in a dream. Now take a moment to bring up a dream that happened recently. Leo, and that is showing you it might have stimulated this wheel to turn, some change, um, because you wanted to, to uh, feel differently. Maybe something came up, a new feeling that was connected to how you felt as a child, 
and you want to work on that and go with it. Uh, go for it in a new way. Take a leap of faith. It's beginner's mind. Uh, because it's going to bring you a great opportunity for wealth. But you're going to have to garden and plant and sow the seeds of this coin. And to really work at it. Whatever this new beginning is, it's going to give you a new opportunity as well. And uh, you're going to be the magician. You're going to make magic with this beginning because it goes from the one to the two. And this lemon skate, uh, this is the mathematical figure of infinity. It shows that this magician, uh, that's you, uh, Leo, have this infinite power to tap into as above, so below, and use that inner authority, but also those extroverted energies to use your talents and gifts and make them real, to bring this coin with your uh, magic. And you can make a lot of abundance out of that. And the wheel is turning in your favor. And the environment is, wow, the king of pentacles. Well, you see the influence of your environment is being very wealthy, uh, very prosperous, very good at managing money, uh, uh, very entrepreneurial, uh, but in the sense of working day by day, year by year with this enterprise you're doing um, and taking uh, that goal uh, this could be a Capricorn. And this, uh, the Fool card is the Aquarius. And the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius. So the Magician, Gemini. So there's a lot of uh, different energies here. But you're um, influenced by a lot of wealth, by a lot of financial security. And that's maybe helping you uh, to make this leap of faith because you know you got the wheel turning, you got opportunity for growth, and you have a wealth and abundance. And your <clears throat> hope and fear is that you can get up there, get some perspective, get some scope, and to use your intellect to think through this, to move forward uh, with um, where you're going with this new beginning. And to get some information, you might even uh, be needing to gossip, uh, study, but you're going to use your mind in a new way. It could be almost a very youthful energy because you've got the page of cups and the page of swords. So, Leo, it's saying um, you've got these new feelings, these new uh, desires that are stimulating you to dream, to have a new artistic vision something you love to do, but you need to get more information on it. You need to think through it, but that's young. You're maybe gossiping, uh, talking about it a lot, but get the facts, get more. Um, there's more um, research to be done. And uh, the advice is to be careful that you're not being interfered with by someone's um, negative influence because there's um, so many positive cards here There's some, that you're getting up uh, some a new a perspective mentally, studying, uh, researching, um, maybe why you have felt <clears throat> at the root of this in childhood at times um, hung up and trapped, interfered with, imprisoned, isolated, uh, when you're not really that um, tied up at all, you could easily move out of this. And the waters you think are there are deep or really shallow, you see. So this could be something shallow, some kind of uh, youthful gossip that's not really intelligent, um, not using the intelligence, and could be cruel, hurtful interactions that lead to this feeling of isolation. So let's see, Leo, what is uh, going on with this? Why is a fool here? Why are you stepping out into this new beginning as this question you came here today with? The fool came again. Oh my God, this is crazy. Look at this. You have the fool twice in the same position. It's just saying uh, you're taking a leap of faith. It does, you are going for it, whether it's crazy or not. Uh, but you're uh, trusting now. In God, you're trusting in that deepest knowing, and you're leaping for, forward on this whole new beginning. 
uh, starting a no, new spiritual journey and is coming in with a lot of a divine um, intervention, right timing. Uh, and you it will bring you a lot of abundance and generosity. Maybe you'll be making a philanthropy project, uh, taking this leap of faith out. Um, generous, abundance, a gift that is giving you this ability uh, to move forward, maybe a gift of money. Uh, and you have been maybe feeling at times that you had to always be uh, giving, but now someone's giving something to you. And the childhood is there because of the page of pentacles, another page. Well, these could be people, young people in your life, Leo, that someone from your past is coming who has this young energy about this opportunity. You got this, you want to manifest something at the root, and it's connected to uh, some feeling you had in the past or somebody from your past. Um, and you've stood your ground, being resilient, being wounded because of the three of swords, because you had mental anguish about a broken relationship, a divorce. Maybe that was the situation from your past, uh, that there was a divorce involved, with, that involved a triangle of um, betrayal, broken um, a relationship, a severance. And uh, you... Um, maybe had to go inward into your dreams to start over with love, a new feeling in love. And you got some truth and clarity by getting above the clouds, Leo. And to see, yes, I can see the, I can see clearly now. I can see the truth now. And I can really face this and bring clarity uh, to this situation. And where now there's a lot of opportunity to uh, choose what this um, goal, this uh, new presentation of uh, a money, of an uh, opportunity to invest. Uh, but there's so many choices. Uh, what will bring you happiness? What will bring you sorrow? Which cup? Because you're kind of like in a um, place of just dreamy, seeing all your options could be under the illusion. Um, but you're making magic in the page of cups is coming again. So something that's coming up out of your feelings, your values, uh, what you love is going to make magic and it's going to uh, create something uh, very uh, wealthy <clears throat> for you and for others in your environment. And that is, whoa, coming to an end with a death, this king of pentacles, this wealth, this security, uh, maybe that it's saying if that was what you saw in your environment, um, this energy is coming to an end. Something about wealth, money management, a person you were dealing with that was very wealthy, uh, the boss, the breadwinner, is, that's coming to an end. And you're getting new information about this situation, about the Two of Cups, about a partnership. You wanna know something about, maybe you are taking a leap of faith toward this new love. Uh, because you felt like I have so much uh, opportunity to do this uh, because of the wealth I have, the, the security, this project, what I'm building and growing. But then I've been defending um, my broken heart maybe, persevering for maybe nine years. Uh, I feel about this hurt heart that you stood up for and been through the war about. But this... <clears throat> Two of Cups is in your hope and fear that you will have a partnership, a new union that you can get information on. You need to get more facts about it because your advice is this could possibly, this partnership, lead to isolation, entrapment, infringement, a feeling like you're self-sabotaging. But it's going to bring you the sun, a new beginning, a new light, a new birth. Wow, well, you've got the fool twice and the sun, so you are going toward a total new transformation. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness and innocence and you, a new uh, success, new way of, live, of living, a new, totally new identity. You're going to become a totally new person. 
And that is what I see coming. As you let go of this isolation and entrapment and stop self-sabotaging, you will become reborn in the light of the sun, optimistic instead of kind of despairing and isolated and closed off and uh, limited. And that's what I see for my Leo, a beautiful reading. And you're going to uh, raise your vibration to uh, this energy of change. And it's coming because you've got uh, the uh, card of death and it's coming, this change, this ending is coming out of your environment. The influence of someone in your environment is bringing this change. And so it is. And Leo, you know I love you and we're in this interconnected field, this space where this reading is just so powerful, unfolds. This um, div divinatory uh, nature of this new beginning, a uh, zero, uh, the new start, a whole new uh, understanding of reality. And if you like the way I read, please subscribe and let me know how this resonates for you. See you next time. Bye-bye.